Hello, hockey fans. This is Coach Al again here for another episode of Off the Rank. The last video I was talking about the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. I gave my picks. Well, how did how did I do? Well, find out after you hit that subscribe button, hit a thumbs up for the like, and remember to hit that bell for the upcoming videos. Now let's get to it. I would like to talk about my picks for the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. I got every team, every series wrong, except for two. Washington won and Pittsburgh won. Those were the only two teams I got. Minnesota versus St. Louis. My team got knocked out. So now it's time to shave the beard. But anyways, people are talking Michael Granlin. Playing with Broken Ann. That's awesome. I love that. That's hockey. Uh, Joel Thornton of the San Jose Sharks was playing with a torn MCL and ACL. That is amazing. That is awesome. That makes hockey players so tough. In other words, who knows who else is playing with injuries. Toronto looked good because they're young. I think they'll go back there next year. Edmonton's on fire, and I hope they do well. I would love to see them win the cup just because of Matt Hendricks. He's from my hometown. Great kid. Um, he lived, literally grew up five houses down from me on the same street. So, hey, good luck to Matt Hendricks. Hopefully you can win it. Um, I'm not a bandwagon jumper. That's not it at all but I wouldn't mind seeing St. Louis but I picked them the last three years to win the Stanley Cup because they had the best I thought they had the best team on paper they had the best team they lose three guys so I picked the wild over them they actually had four guys out but they lost three guys to free agency or trades or whatever Backish, Oshi, Shan Kirk. And Stastny was injured. Stastny comes back for this last game and scores a goal, which kind of shows, hey, I'm back. It's good for him. Now, everybody's talking about the wild firing Chuck Fletcher. See, here's the thing Chuck Fletcher took a team that was basically bottomed out had no depth whatsoever on their roster and he started building this team up to be Stanley Cup playoff contenders and they have been ever since he started doing that yeah it took him a couple years before they made the playoffs after he took over but he got them there he finally got them there yeah you could say he's made some bad deals like the Cam Barker <laughs> For Nick Letty. I mean, come on. Why won't you keep the Minnesota boy, Nick Letty, for Cam Parker? That was a mistake. Hey, I let him slide on that one. There was a couple other ones that were questionable, and some are questioning his draft picks. But it, let's go look. Let's take a look back at some of his draft picks. He picked Mikel Granlin. He picked Eric Halla. He picked Jason Zucker. Three guys that are top guys. I mean, top nine guys at least. And I wouldn't want to see any of those guys leave the team. Whether it's through the expansion draft or free agency. Wouldn't want to see it. He let Matt Collin go. That was one of the mistakes. I think we should have kept him. I totally believe we should have kept Matt Collin. But we got Eric Stahl, and I questioned that at first. And then I saw Eric Stahl play this year, and he fit right in to this team perfectly. Hopefully he can let the fire underneath him again for next year and do the same thing. And who knows what's going to happen next year. We might not make the playoffs. We might be the, win the President's Trophy. We had a franchise record year. And you can't take that away from the players. You can't take that away from the coach. You can't take that away from the general manager. 
So I say just leave it alone for this year. If we don't do nothing next year, then yeah, Fletcher Fletcher. But for right now, I don't I don't see no reason to do it. And it all depends on who he protects, who we get in the you know, who we let go in the expansion draft. Hey, he's picked some prospects out there that played for Team USA, played in the World Cup, that are phenomenal players. We gotta give him some credit. He's been doing good things. He hey, he's made some mistakes, but every general manager goes through it. Every team, every sport. So back off a little bit on firing people. I know there's issues. I think we should have added some depth to our defense. You know, at least another elite defenseman that would have worked out great. Um, that's pretty much it that I have to say for right now. I want to talk about other things. Leave in the comments what you topics you want me to talk about you um you ask me questions so i'll answer them next video uh remember to like subscribe hit that notification bell for the next episode um who knows what we're gonna do i got some unboxings coming i think that'll be great we'll test out some products and we'll see what happens. And catch you next time. Thanks for watching.